But Castleman inching towards the line. Vowles will score! Adrian Vowles scores for Castleford. They are rocking the Rhinos to their roots. Adrian Vowles with the try. Leeds couldn't defend. And the try for Vowles. Another man in red-hot form in these playoffs. And Castleford have a ten-point lead. Incredible. Yeah, I grew up in the in the country towns of Kalamala and, and Charville, which were in southwest Queensland, right in the outback. And um, I grew up on a property, 20, 23,000 acres, which is a, quite a big place. And, and I saw how hard my parents worked on that property to, to make ends meet during droughts. And it certainly instilled in me that you know, you've got to work hard for, for what you have. And I started playing in, um, Put in Kalamala when I was about nine, and um, it, I didn't mind it in the first year. And the next year, I played under 12s when I was 10, and really got into the footy. And I moved to Charlton when I was at 11, and got really stuck in into my footy. And the time I was in grade 12, I was playing um, A grade out there as a 16-year-old. And, and some Sundays, I'd play full game under 17s, and then run on and play full game A grade. I decided then I wanted to move to the Gold Coast. Uh, to try and have a crack at footy. It was massive because it's such a big place, a big city, and to come from a town of 3,000 people. I played footy for the Tweed Seagulls. Had a good year that year, and played a Gold Coast rep side one day, and um, Steve Rogers, who was an ex-internationals coach inside, so I was sitting on the bench where I'd been playing, and he came over and said to our coach, do you have a 5-8 we can have? Because our 5-8 hasn't turned up, and our coach has gone, yeah, just take him. Without hesitation, so I went and played for this side, and uh, scored two tries and set three up and then got a trial with the Gold Coast Seagulls the next week against the Broncos and got a contract and sometimes you get that little bit of luck and, and on that day I did and I played three years of reserve grade and under 21s and uh, in, in 1993 I got to play first grade, Wally Lewis was the coach and I got to play first grade and that was a massive honour. I listened to the first State of Origin on the radio when I was a kid because we only had um, ABC TV till I was 17. So I listened to that game on the radio and um, I said to myself then that I wanted to play for Queensland one day. And so I probably set an early goal in my head that I wanted to do that. Adrian Bowles comes on, gets his first taste of Origin football. Walks through the ranks from the Gold Coast. Wide it is, it's pulled down by Adrian Bowles. This young player, his first Origin match. The first player to come right through the ranks at Gold Coast go on and play Origin football. It comes from Charleville. Big night and a meteoric rise for him. Then in 1994 I got called up to play for Queensland and Melbourne in game two. And for me that was a pinnacle to, to pull on a Maroon jersey and something I'd said I was going to do in 1980 and then get to actually do it. In 1995 I went to the Cowboys and uh, they just started so I was an inaugural player there. And, in 1995 and 1996 I captained that side for the year and, and we were going okay, we're getting better each year and um, and end of 96 Tim Sheens came in as coach of the Cowboys and he called me into his office one day and he said to me, uh, his exact words were, you're not big enough, you're not fast enough, you're not strong enough and you've got limited ability and to say to say that gutted me was an understatement and I ended up moving over to England which um, which was a culture shock but um, and we lost 11 games straight over there and I was getting followed to my car by supporters and telling me to uh, in no uncertain terms please go back to Australia you know you're crap and da 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 and had a pretty low over there wondering you know why I came over there what I'd done wrong and all that sort of stuff but then we had a change of coach and, Things started picking up and then in 1999 I won, in 1999 I won the Man of Steel which is the like Daly M Player of the Year for the English competition. To the Man of Steel award itself. He becomes the first ever Casper player to take home this glittering prize. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, for those of you who haven't already guessed, the 1999 JJD Super League Man of Steel is the man who is there the Tigers throughout this year and has helped him to live in a risk of all travel. The man of steel is the one and only Adrian Barnes. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.
the ultimate for me. Like, um, you know, to win a trophy such as this is just is the brilliant. The first person and, uh, I think when I won it was Tim Sheens for sacking me from the Cowboys because, you know, if he hadn't sacked me, I wouldn't have got over there to win that award. And uh, I just just proves you know a number of things that about not giving up and keep persevering. And I have a a motto that I go by, and that's uh, dream big, small steps turn into giant strides. And by that I mean just be happy to take those little small steps. Don't be in a rush to get anywhere. Because if you work hard and, and you keep plugging away, even when things go bad, you'll get to your goal in the end if you want it bad enough.